By the end of this video, you'll learn how to avoid disastrous newborn baby sex problems. Of course, be sure to hit subscribe and the bell to catch my new content every week, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to get through this new phase of your life. And if you stay until the end of the video, you'll get my Seduce Your Spouse Guide just as a thank you for watching. I'm Amanda Pashuko, a licensed marriage and family therapist and a certified sex therapist. If you're here, I applaud your courage to lean in and to try something new right now during this very challenging and probably tender time in your relationship. So let's jump right into the steps on what you ought to do to figure out if newborn baby sex problems are affecting you. The first thing I suggest is information. When I personally don't understand why something is changing, like my sex life, I like to study it. So if my sex life were to magically change after having a baby, I would immediately hit the research. Folks, you aren't making it up though. Research actually shows that the worst year of a couple's sex life is the first year after having a baby. Give yourself a little bit of a break and a breath of relief that it isn't just you. Thousands, if not millions of couples have gone through this and survived it, meaning you can too. But how, how? That's what so many people ask me. How do you survive it? All right, all right, part two. Acknowledge it. First of all, you have to acknowledge that your sex life is now different. You have to talk about it. Don't just accuse and say, why aren't you having sex with me? Or what's wrong with me now? Or what's wrong with you? use connective language. For example, when I have a fear that you blank don't want to have sex with me, I start to blank judge myself. So I just want to check in with you on what's going on for you as I'm noticing our sex life has changed since the baby was born. That type of language that I just modeled for you is objective and it often leads to collaboration instead of chaos. I'm open to other styles of communication strategies, though, to get the conversation started. So if you have other ideas of what you've done since I'm not a parent, just comment below and give me some suggestions on what you've done to have this conversation with your partner. Part three, acknowledge the systemic change. What does that mean? Know that you're now not just an individual. So the individual part of you holds both this dominant, submissive, masculine, feminine energy, it holds the desire to give pleasure, to receive pleasure. That's you as an individual. But you went from that to you joined a couple system, you and your partner. So if you have a good flow of who was the receiver and giver, the initiator and follower before the baby, you're no longer just an individual and a couple now. You just added a whole new system, a family system, a parental system. And from what I've seen, the parental role doesn't seem very exotic to me as an outsider. So what I've heard actually is it's actually the opposite of erotic. The focus on the family is safety and survival of the children. The family is the place that Eros is hindered because you need to be certain and give yourself, the couple, and the family its own individual time. So you need to give time, connection, and attention to yourself, the couple's unit, and now the family unit. Although safety of the baby is definitely the priority, making time for your relationship will help you from falling into baby communication rut of not prioritizing one another and then ending up in divorce counseling. Be mindful of your partner's emotions, especially if you're a breastfeeding parent, because sometimes if you're a breastfeeding parent in a romantic relationship, your partner feels really replaced. Part four, body changes. Let's face it, your body changes after birth. Sometimes the C-section scar, sometimes new stretch marks, breast change, and sometimes the vagina changes too but not always in the way you may think. I know many women who have horror stories about their vaginas after birth and partners have not treated them well in this sacred moment. 
Birth is amazing. The creation of life through sex at times is absolutely insanely cool. The body sometimes changes as a result, and that's important to discuss for the win-win in a romantic relationship. Sometimes people like the way their chest feels after. Sometimes people like the perineum more. Other people have told me that they received orgasm in the weeks after sex just through a foot massage. So learn how to not compare what it was before and find a new win, an erotic growth edge, if you will. And last part, spend time making your bedroom a love sanctuary. A love sanctuary? Well, I bet you've spent a ton of time on the nursery, spent countless hours on maybe looking at clothes, buying clothes, putting things on the baby registry. What about you though? Have you tended to you and your pleasure? I know mamas who have used vibrators during birth and on their C-section scars after. There are ways that people have updated the newborn baby sex phase. So look around your bedroom. Does it need an update just like the nursery? What colors are you desiring for the bedroom for you and your partner, not the baby? Keep the baby things in the baby room and create a love sanctuary for you. What do you wanna come home to? What do you wanna experience as your own refuge of pleasure and sensuality? So if you have to work from home and you can do it outside your bedroom, I encourage you to do so, so you can leave your bed for sleep and sacred sex. Also, no television. Televisions in the bedroom are not okay when you're in a romantic relationship. Give you and your partner time together, an individual hour alone, or maybe four hours a week together. And be mindful that yes, the baby's important, but so is the couple's system. Put time into your schedule and don't forget to weave in working on your new relationship in this new bedroom. I'm so proud of you guys for being parents and for showing up today in the most challenging time. I'm so happy you're in the pursuit of pleasure and I want you to figure out how to have pleasure through this very intense time. So go to my webpage, scroll down to the description below and you can get the how to seduce your spouse video because you deserve pleasure and or you can get the pleasure practice guide because you deserve some alone time too. I would love if you reached out on my YouTube channel, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram with any ideas. I'm always looking for new ideas on videos to shoot. Thank you so much for your time today. If you like this video, click like, hit subscribe and the bell. I release a new video Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. See you then and thanks for watching.